All right, here's my next uh, steam engine. Three inch bore, four inch stroke, about five horsepower. I'm running off of one of my 20 inch boilers. And it's got an alternator on it. Spin, puts out about 14 volts. Really nice antique oiler. It's about 36 inches tall and 36 inches long. And I'll turn on the steam and just use the valve here. Gotta get it on center. I build it completely from raw casting. Roll the machine work myself. comes in here and pressurizes the case and pushes steam out to a tube. This valve here is if you want to uh, add oil to it while the engine's running. Just run through this, that way there's no steam coming here. And uh, I leave these valves open about, well, about an eighth of a turn, that's all you need. This needs a few drops of oil. And I'm just running. Oh, look. Uh, 35 pounds of pressure right now on the this boiler. It's capable of 100 pounds of pressure. And I've got uh, an LPM gauge here. Right now the engine's turning at about the 200 RPM. And the alternator is at about 800 RPM. So if I turn up the steam on the faster, get the engine going faster. Yeah, and I turn up the valve a little bit. One break. So if any of you guys want to generate off-grid power, it's a good way to go. My name is Ross Bendixson. My number is 206-948-0770. And the email address is anacordasteam at gmail.com. That's A-N-A-C-O-R-T-E-S. S-P-E-A-M at gmail.com Thanks for watching. I forgot to mention that this pulley here is 14 inch diameter so it really speeds up the alternator. And the belt cut tension is there. Uh, these are uh, blow down valves here and here. When you first use it you should open those up and uh, let the water out. Thanks for watching.